the reason why they went up in Sean P. Diddy Combs' homes in L.A., New York, and Miami was because of paragraph 168, 169, and 170, 141, 142, and 143. Let's get into some of the straight game. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother Welcome back guys, welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson, Platinum Artist, Platinum Songwriter, Straight Gang TV Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate your time uh, Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button Also subscribe to the channel if you have not already And like I always say, if you want to be one of the first people notified when I drop some of this Straight Game uh, Please uh, click and tap on that uh, little bell notification right below this video it's like looks like a little bell and get right into it by now everybody has heard that uh news um from uh sean p diddy combs homes in miami new york and los angeles being raided i did a video on this a few uh a few weeks back if you will and i've seen a lot of other people do videos but they they truly miss what was the most important part of the indictment. And notice who's raiding his house right now. It's the Homeland Security, right? Why would the Homeland Security, not the ATF, uh, not the FBI per se, who may have been um, on scene, you know, as part of, uh, you know, federal task force, but it was mainly handled by the Homeland Security. And the reason why that is, is because of this right here. Um, paragraph 168, 169, and 170 for everybody who wanted to overlook. When you're dealing with powerful people who may have vis visited Sean uh, Puffy Combs' house and it comes out in a, uh, in a court filing, if you will, I'm going to read it like this. Mr. Jones, uh, the young man who is... Uh, suing uh, Sean Puffy Combs for the uh, $30 million as he believed he was wronged by Sean P. Diddy Combs um, basically said, Mr. Jones believed that Mr. Combs has recordings of defendants Lucian Charles Grange who is the uh, CEO of Universal Music Group right? Also, Ethiopia, Ethiopia Habitarium, as well as other celebrities, music label executives, politicians, I'm going to say that again, politicians, I'm going to say that again, politicians, and athletes, and athletes. Now, upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. And as is the case with the homosexual tape of Mr. Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones, Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak off parties and his house parties. Upon information and belief, Due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. No need to question what they're looking for. Anything that you've heard other than what I'm saying right here in relation to this, paragraph 168, 169, and 170 is the most important part of this indictment. I mean, should I say of this uh, uh, civil case filed against uh, Little Rod, I mean, filed by Little Rod, uh, better known as Mr. Jones, if you will. I'm going to read it one more time because I don't think you understand what I'm saying to you. The reason that Sean P. Diddy Combs homes in Miami, New York and California were uh, raided is because they're looking for those tapes. They give a damn about anything else. And the people who 
have attended these parties know that they have attended these parties, know what they did at the parties. And because uh, a little rod basically can come out and say that he has seen a tape of Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones. Listen, Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his free golf parties. So if you've attended one of uh, Sean P. P. Diddy Combs free golf parties, then you would be very concerned right now. They're looking for hard drives. They're looking for any information to this, these, these free golf parties. And if Sean P. Diddy Combs has a good lawyer, he would have been uh, uh, disposed of those items, hidden them uh, for whatever have you from that perspective. But like I said, I'm going to read it one more time. Mr. Jones, the young man who is filing the civil suit against Sean P. Diddy Combs, put a bombshell in his filing. And this is what got people awakened. Can you imagine? Mr. Jones believed that Mr. Combs has recordings of defendants Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Habitarium, as well as other celebrities, music label, label executives, politicians, say it again, politicians and athletes. Upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. And as is the case with the homosexual tape of Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones, Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his free golf parties and house parties. Upon information and belief, due to the treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and untouchable. Listen to me. Homeland Security. Right? What does Homeland Security investigate? Situations dealing with terrorism. Um, situations dealing with uh, protecting the homeland, immigration, um, you know, trafficking, um, a criminal organizations. And notice, remember, in the filing, they basically said it was basically under the RICO Act also. So they're basically saying that uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs, along with everybody else, they, uh, the guy Little Rod said that knew about these free golf parties and should have known that people were being drugged, uh, underage girls and so on and so forth, right? We get that. But the part that they're really concerned about, if you know, and we've seen, you know, various, you know, backyard footage, you know, them having little parties at, at, at Puffy's house. You know, Jay-Z in attendance or the whole bunch of other people in attendance. Now, I'm not saying that any of them did anything wrong. You know what I mean? Only they know what they did. But right now. Shit is real dicey, man. It's real dicey. And um, like I said, somebody talked to somebody in, in the higher ups of the government. And they needed this situation to be addressed in a serious manner so much so that they hit all of sean pity diddy combs houses simultaneously new york la and miami so this is going to get real interesting um i don't know if sean p diddy combs is gonna um you know speak out in regards to you know th this situation happening or send his publicists out to you know, issue a, some kind of statement or whatever. But yeah, this is real dicey. Um, I also think once again that it was a, um, a message from the higher ups that, you know, we wish you would, you know what I mean? In regards to release any kind of video footage that you may have on anybody. Politicians, man, think about that now. You know, a lot of times politicians come to California to fundraise. They go to different people's houses and so on and so forth. And a lot of times, you know, you can lay back and, and, and kind of kick it and do, you know, whatever it is. Like I said, these freak off parties, right? They're looking for the freak off tapes. They're looking for the hard drives. Also, the young man who is known to be uh, the IT guy for Sean Peter D. Combs, you best believe they went to him and they talked to him. Right. 
I don't know what, you know, they, they uh, recovered from that perspective, um, if anything. Uh, but like I said, once again, they're looking to try to file criminal charges against Sean P. Diddy Combs. Like, dude, if, you know, and when you think about it, from what I understand, the guy who sued him, uh, Little Rod or whatever, um, all he wanted was $50,000. Man, $50,000 could have made this go away. But right now, it's then got real serious, man. Homeland Security has uh, raided all of Sean P. Diddy Combs' homes. And page uh, uh, paragraph 168, 169, and 170 ought to tell everybody why that happened. It's that simple. Music la label executives, politicians, and athletes. Has LeBron James been to Sean P. Diddy Combs' house? You know, has Dwayne Wade? Has any of these other superstar athletes? Been to Sean P. Diddy Combs' home, whether it's been in Miami. There was another statement made in regards to uh, this, this situation here um, where the brother uh, Little Rod also said, listen, listen, and, and I want y'all to listen to this very carefully. According to Mr. Jones, whenever defendant Grange visited Mr. Combs at his homes, it would be in the evening. And he and Mr. Combs would disappear for hours in Mr. Combs' bedroom. Defendant Grange sponsored and attended several love album listening parties at Mr. Holmes Combs in Los Angeles, California. These parties were sponsored by defendants MR, Motown Records, right? LR, right? And Universal Music Group. As evidence above, these parties had sex workers and underage girls present. During these parties, defendant Grange knew or should have known that Mr. Combs was drugging the attendees through lace bottles of De Leon tequila and Ciroc vodka. They looking for them tapes, man. And right now it's a lot of people shaking in their boots. So we're going to see where this goes. If they um, obtained any kind of um, uh, evidence today, we will find out hopefully later on. But this is the reason that they went up in that house. Or those houses, should I say? You know, I asked before: Is it calm or is it lies? You know, um, and and the government. When you're dealing with government, politicians, and people like that, and very powerful people, they have ways of making things happen. You know, and as we can see right now, that they're happening. Stay tuned, man. But like I said, this is the reason why. Anything else you heard is just people saying anything about little rock listen trust me that those paragraphs 141 142 143 uh 169 i mean 168 169 and 170 all the reasons that they went up and showing pdd combs homes they're looking for the tapes they're looking for the hard drives they're looking for the cameras you know and uh you can only imagine if a part of what Little Rod is saying is true. That it's a lot of people on them tapes, man. It's a lot of nervous people right now. Your boy Delray, straight gang.